everyone, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to tell you a little bit about two of the best friends that I have in the oh. whole wide world. This is Winston and Wallace. So Winston is the one on the right and Wallace is the one on the left. We got them back in 2011 in January uh, and they've been with us a long, long time. They're pretty dang old now, but they have been with me through thick and thin so many journeys together. Uh, they were from the same litter originally. We actually were going to just get Winston first because we liked him best because he was super cuddly and just adorable when we saw him when he was little. Uh, but it just broke my mom's heart because Wallace was the last one of the litter and he was going to be left alone. So she came home and when she first showed them to us originally, and I don't want to give you your Winston. That's fun. Ah, no, now it's working. Of course. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, that's what I wanted it to do before. <laughs> uh, but originally when we got them, my mom opened the garage door and she gave Winston to my sister and I. We were ecstatic. We were like, a kitten, we've been asking for this for so long, and we finally got him. And then she was like, wait, just a minute, I'll be right back. Walked back out into the garage and then took Wallace out from the car and set him down. And we were like, we have two kittens, this is adorable. And they have been with us through so much. So this is Winston, and he's my best bud. Uh, he and I, since he was little, have gotten along so much. He's always the one that comes to me first out of any of the members of my family. When I come home from college, he's always like right there, so excited to see me. Uh, he's with me through thick and thin. So these two cats have been through quite a bit with my family and I, uh, and they've stuck with us through the whole thing, have survived it, which is fantastic. So like. Uh, way back in 2015, my family made a brief, brief trip to California, and we actually took both our cats <laughs> and took them with us to California, uh, and that was a really fun time because they were in the car with us and actually got me through some tough times there because we didn't know many people, but I could always come home to our apartment and Winston would just come up to me and he'd do exactly that. He'd just cuddle up in my arms. Uh, if you're sitting at a table and you put your hands out in a circle like this in front of you, he will walk up and he will go into the circle and lay down in that because that's just who he is. Uh, so he's really my cat. And then there's also his brother, Wallace. I love this picture of him because it just looks like he's giving you a little thumbs up. He's like, yeah, everything's going to be cool. When we originally got them, their personalities actually switched. So them as kittens, Wallace was the big brother exploring around the house, leading on, and then Winston would shyly kind of creep behind him and follow him. But as of late, their personalities have actually completely swapped. So Winston became like the adventurer, super cuddly out there one. And Wallace is kind of a grumpy old man now, uh, but he's still with us. Uh, and they both have their different personalities. And I thought this picture like shows them perfectly because Winston's just all out there. He has no shame, nothing. He'll just lay down, splay himself on the ground like that. And then Wallace will be very elegant and like curl himself up and tuck and sit down. So we have so many pictures of them like this. Um, but now like Winston's super outgoing and cuddly and like you can pick him up and hold him and Wallace will let you do that too but sometimes it's a little bit more hit or miss. Uh, lately towards the end of their lives now they're getting a little bit more issues with them but they're still like hanging in there and they're super friendly with us and I love that my parents are willing to put up with them even in their stubbornness. Wallace actually has diabetes now so he's gotten like a lot fatter like even this picture doesn't show the whole story of what he looks like now <laughs> but he's perfectly happy and like healthy otherwise we have to give him little medications but he's still there he now is even almost more cuddly than his brother because when i come home they'll both just come up to me and they'll be like look you're back and i can pick them both up uh, and they're so cute but because they're brothers sometimes they do have these moments where they fight with each other uh, so i thought i'd end up showing you a little fun video that my dad sent me the other day uh, they'll get in some pretty crazy tussles, and this is just one of them where they go at it. So Winston will come up to his brother, and he'll turn around, and then he'll just back himself up, and then sit down on oh. Wallace. <laughs> so understandably, they'll retaliate against uh, each other. I love him. But it's pretty funny to watch. And also, like, when you're in the moment, if you can hear them, like, some of the noises they make when they're in fights is pretty funny because immediately after their fights usually, what'll happen is they'll go at this for a minute or two, and literally like 30 seconds after the fight, you'll see them and they'll be right back to like the beginning again of them just like vibing and laying with each other like that because they're just brothers and they're super friends. But they've been with me for so long now, since I was 11 years old, and they're still going strong, so I'm super happy to have those cats in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah.